Hey guys, and welcome to another tutorial video for Eve Echoes. Today, we're going to be talking about hauling your covert ops ships, whether that's a covert ops frigate, a stealth bomber, a uh, logistics hauling covert ops ship. Whatever the ship may be, we're going to be talking about how to get that through and around gate camps successfully. Most of the time without dying, sometimes you'll be caught out by the perfect scenario, and there's just nothing you can do about that. But we're going to be talking about improving your odds at getting through those gate camps. Now if you're a veteran player, chances are you're already familiar with all, all that I've got to say, but if you're a new player, stick around and uh, find out. So of course we've got some graphics up on the screen at the moment. I was kind of unable to get some background footage for this one, mainly because in the hour and a half that I dedicated to finding a gate camp, I could not find a gate camp. So uh, we have these nice little graphics that threw together instead. So, first and foremost, you land on a Stargate, you jump through it, and on the other side, when you're cloaked up, you find that there is a warp disruption bubble, with right in the middle of it an enemy ship. So, the simple thing, most simple thing to do here, is start moving away and cloak. You head towards the closest, um, part of the bubble to retreat out of. The moment you're outside of that bubble, you are safe to warp. But, of course, we have to remember, the moment we start moving, we have to cloak. If we don't cloak, we give the enemy an opportunity to target us. Once we're targeted, the cloak's not going to work. We're, you're pretty much dead to the moment that you're targeted in this scenario. So, during the bit where you start moving, when your clo cloak breaks from the Stargate, you have also an opportunity to activate a micro warp drive. Now, you won't always have one fitted, and your reaction times might not be good enough to actually get you to activate that micro warp drive before the cloak goes up. If you can pull that off, perfect, that gets you out of the bubble even quicker. If not, still fine, just make sure you don't fly too close to anything. And of course, once again, once you're outside of the bubble, you warp off. Now, what if you've got more than one ship inside of this bubble? You've got things to actually manoeuvre around. If you get within two kilometres of an enemy ship, you will be decloaked. I say enemy ship, it doesn't even have to be a ship. It can be a drone, a cargo container, a wreck, an NPC. Whatever it happens to be, if you fly within two kilometres of it, it will decloak you. So the important thing here is... If the closest route out of the bubble is blocked by other ships, don't chance it, because there is a chance that it will... If you, if you try to fly delicately around it, keeping three kilometres away, all it takes is a twitch, you know, for them to just move randomly in a different direction, and then you've been caught. So instead, pick a nice open space where there's no ships, and there doesn't appear to be any ships based on their, you know, movement patterns, Head through that opening and warp off once you're outside of that bubble. Same as before, start moving, instantly cloak. Hope they didn't have enough time to figure out roughly where you are to start piling in to decloak you. Again, that can be a thing. Now, of course, what if the gate camp is simply too busy? You get in there and it's a complete hornet's nest. It's full of wrecks, cargo containers, drones, and you've got 20 or 30 players buzzing around in interceptors, really, really quick to the draw with regards to getting you to decloak. All you've got here to help you is the cloak that you landed on the Stargate with. So best thing to do, if you are 100% certain that you cannot get through the Stargate without dying, best thing to do is retreat. Steer towards the Stargate that you jumped through, activate your prop mod, burn towards it full speed. With any luck, by the time they, the enemy actually locks onto you, you're through the Stargate, you've jumped, and you're on the other side where there is no bubble, because you came through it previously. It's not a perfect scenario, this one, but it is a... It's, it's your last option, let's say. Of course, there is still a chance of dying, but your chances of getting through the Stargate and surviving are higher than getting out of the bubble and surviving. Because here, 
if you're still if you're locked when you get within jump range of the Stargate, as long as you're not shooting at things, you can jump through in most cases. But if you're locked when you're leaving the bubble, trying to go for open space, that's it. Your cloak's not working. You're probably warp scrambled, etc., etc. This is the easiest way out when it's too busy. But next up, <clears throat> what about if you're coming into the bubble from the outside? You've not jumped through the Stargate yet. You're in system heading towards the Stargate. You're in warp. You land on the bubble. So, of course, you need to get within the five kilometer jump range of the Stargate. So you just cloak up on your way into the bubble. <clears throat> now, it is good uh, practice when you are warping through Nullsec. If there is any reds or neutrals in local, complete your journey from gate to gate cloaked. The point here is you don't want them to know where or when you land on these stargates. You want to be as invisible and anonymous as possible. All they are allowed to know is that you entered system and that you left system. That is as much information as you want to let these gate campers have. So of course, here we land on the stargate. We choose a indirect path to make sure that we don't you know, get too close to an enemy ship and we get to the white ring which is in this case our jump radius for the stargate now of course there are scenarios as you can see here whereby if you've got a star a star system with just two stargates and it is a high traffic system what you'll often find is on the bubble itself, on the edge of the bubble, where you'd expect your ships to land if they're traveling from gate to gate, you'll have the uh, enemy ships congregate. The purpose of this congregation is to make sure that when you land on the edge of that bubble, you will be instantly decloaked because they are positioned where they would expect you to land. So if you see multiple hostiles in system and you are hauling something um, valuable in a cloaky ship, don't go directly from Stargate to Stargate. Instead, take a detour, pick another planet or uh, anomaly, mining belt, whatever it may be, bounce off of that first to make sure that you come at the Stargate from a different direction. You'll still get caught in the bubble, but the important thing here is that you're coming in from a direction that they haven't planned for because of course more often than not they're only going to plan for the most uh, likely scenario that being people going from gate to gate because that is the most common and of course that's all i have for you i hope this was uh, particularly useful if there's anything i didn't properly explain please be sure to put that into the comment section below so i know and i can help you guys out further but until then, thanks for listening to the video. Like, comment, subscribe, it really does help. And see you guys in the next video.